Okay, this video will be an introduction to quantum computation, another yet, you know, subsection of theory of computation. As you can, as, and as I said before, it's, you know, really, really broad. And this, you know, is just shows again, you know, what we have here. Now, quantum computation is actually a relatively new field of research. It's, you know, it's basically founded on quantum physics, which I'll be making a video series on sometime in the future. Um, basically, it's the idea that you have a computer and it basically performs calculations, you know, much, much, much faster than a classical computer can. So basically everything that all the classical algorithms that I talked about can be performed much quicker on a quantum computer, at least in a theoretical sense. All right, so let's, let's go right into it. Now, what exactly is a quantum computer model on? Instead of using the classical bits, you know, one or zero, I run on something called a qubit, which is actually a um, representation of a quantum information, quantum information system. And so it's like you have a particle, and particles at the quantum level can actually be in, well, they have something called superposition. They can be in more than one place at the same time, so to speak. I mean, it's really bizarre and counterintuitive, but that's just how um, physics works at the below the um, Planck scale, which again, I'll talk about some other time. Uh, but anyway, so you have particles, they can be in more than one place at once. At the same time, they can also get entangled. Their quantum states can be, you know, become um, joined, and that also can be, you know, helpful for quantum computation. Uh, we'll, we'll not go, we won't, go, we won't uh, dive into the quantum physics of that until um, another video series, but uh, that's that's the general introduction. We just have computers that perform much, much faster to compute on atoms, and they can technically compute on certain small molecules. And um, so, yeah, uh, you, generally, uh, generally the qubits are represented in, a, well, this, this is the bra, uh, bra notation, and this is the ket notation. Um, you have zero 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 one one zero and then one one and the it, it, the reason why it's like that is because it denotes uh Hilbert uh, inner product of Hilbert space which again I'll talk about some other time but basically the uh, the reason why qubits uh, or at you know atoms you know the quantum level can do what they do and so basically we're going to, this video this part of the video is going to talk about uh, quantum computers you know what they do and um how they perform the calculations possible calculations but um yeah it's been, it's, it's been you know people it's been studied for a while and uh we'll talk later about the algorithm the, the two algorithms that have, the two i guess mainstream algorithms that have been developed for quantum computers uh since uh, the initial uh, initial research okay so that is it for this video and uh see you guys later